word. Jesus is the word. Acts 8, 34 and 37. So the eunuch answered Philip and said, I ask you of whom does the prophet say this of himself or of some other man? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning at his scripture preach Jesus. See, we don't have to be real smart right, to preach Jesus. We don't have to have theology to preach Jesus. All right, we got to do is preach the word. Do what the word said do. Philip, he was already up around Samaria and he was he was a deacon and he's an evangelist. And he was already up there around many people to say. But the Lord spoke to an angel and told him to leave. Yes. Praise the Lord. And said, yes. oh, wait, let me finish this. Then Philip opened his mouth and began it at his scripture, preach Jesus. Now as they went down the road, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, see here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Then Philip said, if you believe what and if, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And the eunuch said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. See, now, like Philip was preaching the gospel in many villages around Samaria. Samaria is eight. When an angel of the Lord spoke to him, saying, Arise and go toward the south along the road, which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. And this was a desert down there. But see, he obeyed. The Lord was more, it was interested in this one man. This man, he was reading the word, but he didn't understand it. And without an understanding, then he, could, he would know that he would have to be born again. He wouldn't know that he would have to accept Jesus. He didn't even know what the prophet was talking about. Whether he was talking about himself or another man. So, it's the same as as uh, going out for the night, 99 at Shepherd with 99 oh, yes. uh, and going false one. Going out for that one law. Yes. See, the angels in heaven is just as happy with one and say yes. 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 So how can now, how can we share our faith of the gospel? We must have a clean heart. Yeah. God said, be ye holy, yeah. because I am holy. Yeah. We must use the word of God. Yeah. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 says, be diligent to present yourself, yeah. approve to God a worker, who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We must depend on the Spirit of God. Now, that's sharing our faith. Now, when should we do this? The Bible says that God, God's accepted time is today. Hebrews 3.15 said, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harm your heart as a rebellion. Now, I read, I read about this evangelist. He was a famous evangelist. And he was having revival in Chicago. And on the last night that he had 
it was unbelievers, they were present there. So he preached and then he told them to go home and come and think seriously of what they had heard about Jesus. And then come back the next night and if they just and decide whether they want to accept Jesus or not. But see, in between time, that same night, a fire broke out in Chicago. They call it the Great Fire in Chicago. And when the fire started, there was four miles of building that burned. And there was 250 people that was that we killed, yes. died. Yes. So, some of these people was in this revival. Yes. And this evangelist said he would never send anyone out without giving them a chance to do the yes. See, you can't put off what you do it. Right? Because we do not know right. what tomorrow is going to be.
say thank you for taking our time. Thank you. Thank you. At 4 o'clock, we're going to the Rock Ministries. Amen. Amen. We're going to be up there with them this afternoon at 4 o'clock. This is their, their men's day. Yeah. Amen. And you know, sometimes when a person speaks, you know, and somebody else get up, you know, you, you, you messed up my sermon. And the mother danced all over. <laughs> but that's all right. And that tells me that God is speaking the same thing. He's not a, a he, he don't have a different word, a different word. No, it's, a, it's in the same line. And it's all coming from the same book. So I, I'm, you know, I don't worry about that. Amen. But we're going to be up there today at 4 o'clock.